central processing unit. Learning plan, working of computer system, the central processing unit, functional units of the CPU. Mighty, I know that the CPU is an important part of a computer. But what are its functions? Working of the computer system. The computer performs basically five major operations or functions. These are First, accepts input in the form of data and instructions. Instructions are sent to CPU through input devices. Some of the input devices are keyboard, scanner and joystick. Data or programs are entered into the computer system through these devices. Input units take data from us and forward it. The most important input device is the keyboard, which takes words, figures and commands from the operator. The second important device is a mouse, which selects options from the menus displayed on the screen. There are some other input devices also, such as scanner, joystick microphone, track pen, etc. Second, storage. The process of saving data and instructions permanently is known as storage. Data has to be fed into the system before the actual processing starts. It is because the processing speed of the central processing unit, CPU, is so fast that the data has to be provided to CPU with the same speed. Therefore, the data is first stored in the storage unit for faster access and processing. This storage unit or the primary storage of the computer system is designed to do the above function. It provides space for storing data and instructions. The storage unit performs the following major functions. All data and instructions are stored here before and after processing. Intermediate results of processing are also stored here. Third, processing. The task of performing operations like arithmetic and logical operations is called processing. The CPU takes data and instructions from the storage unit and makes all sorts of calculations based on the instructions given and the type of data provided. The processed answer is then sent back to the storage unit as a result. Some more. A dual core processor has two cores. Example, AMD Phenom 2X2 Intel Core Duo. Fourth, output. This is the process of producing results from the data for getting useful information. Similarly, the output produced by the computer after processing must also be kept somewhere inside the computer before being given to you in human-readable form. Again, the output is also stored inside the computer for further processing. Fifth, control. The manner in which the instructions and operations are executed. Controlling of all operations like input, processing and output are performed by control unit. It takes care of step-by-step -step processing of all operations inside the computer. The central processing unit. The CPU or central processing unit is the brain of the computer. It is the compute in a computer. A computer CPU is composed of millions and soon billions of transistors. Because CPU are so small, they are often referred to as microprocessors. Modern CPU are called integrated chips. The idea behind an integrated chip is that several types of components are integrated into a single piece of silicon, a single CPU. The CPU is inserted directly into a CPU socket, pin side down on the motherboard. Functions of the CPU The CPU is the brain of any computer. It carries out all the processing in the computer. The CPU performs arithmetic calculations and data manipulation. Example, comparisons, sorting, combining, etc. The computer's calculator is a part of the CPU known as the arithmetic logic unit. 
the cpu holds data and instructions which are in current use these are kept in the main store or memory to understand how the whole system works consider the diagram shown below this diagram shows the basic components of a generalized cpu an actual cpu may have these components or other with different names that provide the same functions functional units of the cpu the central processing unit is divided into three functional units based on the work they do these are the control unit cu the arithmetic logic unit alu the main memory unit or internal memory mmu input unit cpu memory unit control unit arithmetic and logic unit output unit each part of the central processing unit has its specific function control unit cu all computer operations are controlled by the control unit the control section directs the flow of traffic operations and data it also maintains order within the computer operations of a computer accepts information in the form of programs and data through an input unit and store it in the memory fetch the information stored in the memory under program control into an alu where the information is processed output the processed information through an output unit control all activities inside the machine arithmetic logical unit alu alu is one of the many components within a computer processor the alu performs mathematical logical and decision making operations in a computer after the information has been processed by the alu it is sent to the computer memory the main memory unit mmu primary memory holds only those data and instructions on which the computer is currently working it has limited capacity and the data gets lost when the power is switched off the mmu is generally made of a semiconductor device these memories are not as fast as registers the data and instructions required to be processed first reside in the main memory it is divided into two subcategories ram and rom random access memory ram a ram constitutes the internal memory of the cpu for storing data program and program result it is read write memory the access time in ram is independent of the address of stored data this means that each storage location inside the memory is as easy to reach as other location and takes the same amount of time we can reach ram randomly and extremely fast inventor ram random access memory was invented by robert dinard it was invented in 1966 RAM is volatile that is data stored in it is lost when we switch off the computer or if there is a power failure hence a backup in the form of an uninterruptible power system ups is often used with computers ram is small both in terms of its physical size and in the amount of data it can hold types of ram static ram sram and second dynamic ram dram take a look inside the cpu tower to see the ram cards on the motherboard some more in some computer processors the alu is divided into two distinct parts the au and the lu the au performs the arithmetic operations and the lu performs the logical operations read only memory rom ROM stands for read only memory. It is the memory from which we can read but cannot write. This type of memory is non-volatile. The information stored in such memories is permanent. A ROM stores such instruction as are required to start the computer when electricity is first turned on. This operation is referred to as bootstrap. 
ROM chips are not only used in computers but also in other electronic items like washing machines and microwave oven. Tick the correct option.